In this video, we'll solve this system, x plus 3y equals 7, and 3x minus 5y equals negative 21, using Gauss-Jordan elimination. The difference here is that we still want 1s on the diagonal, but then we need zeros below and above the diagonal. We start with our augmented matrix which is 1, 3, 7. Then we have 3, negative 5, negative 21. So we have a 1 in the first row, first column. We need a 0 below it. And we can get a 0 below it by adding negative 3 to it. So we're going to have to add negative 3 times row 1 plus row 2 and replace row 2 with those entries. Well, negative 3 times row 1 is negative 3, negative 9, and negative 21. If I add those entries to row 2, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 9 plus negative 5 is negative 14. Negative 21 plus negative 21 is negative 42. So now I have a 1 leading, a 0 below it, and I need to get a 1 in the second row, second column. So here I can multiply or divide each entry by negative 14, or if I'm multiplying by negative 1 over 14. So my first row stays 1, 3, 7. I'm going to multiply the second row by negative 1 divided by 14. So anything times 0 is 0. Negative 1 14th times negative 14 is 1. Negative 1 14th times negative 42 is going to be 3. So if I was doing just Gaussian elimination, I could be done. But since I'm doing Gauss-Jordan, I need to get a 0 above that 1. So to get a 0 in the um, second column of the first row, I'm going to have to add negative 3 to it. So my second row is going to stay the same in this case. And now in my first row, I'm going to add negative 3 times row 2 plus row 1 and replace row 1 with that. So I'm going to do this calculation down below in the previous matrix. So negative 3 times row 2, negative 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. So now I'm going to add those entries to row 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and negative 9 plus 7 is negative 2. Now I have an in reduced row echelon form. I've used Gauss-Jordan elimination to get there. Converting this to the system tells me that x plus 0 is equal to negative 2. In other words, x is equal to negative 2. 0 plus y is equal to 3. So the solution of this system is the ordered pair negative 2, 3. And I could plug that in, right? Negative 2 plus 3 times 3 is negative 2 plus 9, which is 7. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Minus 5 times 3 is 15. So negative 6 minus 15 is negative 21. And of course, the system with two equations and two unknowns, you may not go through and do this process, but this is helpful as we move to a system with three equations and three unknowns to know how to do this.